What is going on? Welcome to Greglos TV. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today again is going to be all about Samsung's One UI 7 beta. Now it's not officially officially out for you know everybody out there in the world. I talked about that yesterday. Um, it looks like it's probably going to end up coming out in August, which is just a few days away. It's really this coming week, but it hasn't stopped from us being able to see basically most of the major things that are going to be changed on it. And I use this as my my wallpaper for my 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 video yesterday, my thumbnail, I should say, um, and I didn't talk about it. And I should have. That's I'm going to talk about it today. So let's just dive right in to it. So first of all, you're going to see redesigned app icons. You saw one of them yesterday with the new gallery app. Um, some of the other the some of the other designs are different now too. Again, that's not really a huge huge deal with this due to the fact that with the redesigned apps, um, you could do that anyway by downloading app packs through the Galaxy Store or through uh, Gal Google Play Store. So again, there isn't anything crazy there, but just something to know. Then you also get the new home screen customizations. Now, it doesn't dive too deep into what it is there. It just shows a bunch of squares and what they used to look like versus what they look like now, um, from classic now to bold. Create your Galaxy avatar. I thought we had avatars before. Didn't we have those before? I know, I swear I had one before, but it looks like they're gonna have new avatars that you can design, or at least more customizations to it. The new battery indicators are now pill designed rather than, I think they were like square before. I like it. I know some people aren't into it. I'm cool with it. It gives it a different feel, especially on the Galaxy side. Vertical app drawer. That's right, so finally, on your, is there any of my phones dead? Um, whatever. You know, like instead of going left to right to see your app drawer, now you can go up and down. It used to be a little kind of a hack with good lock that you could do it, but it just wasn't really the same as everything else. So now you'll be able to go up and down vertically. Finally, I'm so happy about that. It's probably one of the most major things I'm really happy about on my app drawer to be able to go vertically up and down, scrolling through it. Dark mode icons, so now your icon cons will also be dark. Uh, I know Apple introduced this uh, recently with their latest beta and now Samsung has it as well. Smooth animations, one of the big, big things about One UI 7 is that the animations, meaning when you go in and out of an app and you're just scrolling around and you're going in between things, it will feel a lot smoother. The animations will be a lot better. Now, on the first beta try, I've heard that they're not so much, but it should be improved time over time over time, and they're even indicating it right there. Galaxy AI is more advanced than ever. I don't know of anything specific that Galaxy AI will be gaining from One UI 7. I'm not saying it won't gain anything. I just don't know anything specific that it would be gaining, but you gotta assume it's probably gonna gain something or be improved in what it can be able to do right now. <clears throat> Beta, early August, like we said, so it should be really be the first week of August that it starts rolling out to people and their phones. New lock screen cu customization, so on your lock screen, you'll be able to customize it a little bit more. The biggest change to One UI ever, meaning that this is gonna be the biggest change physically to One UI on here. The redesigned camera app, so the camera app uh, will look like this now. Everything will be really at the bottom, all the controls instead of at the top and the bottom, um, which is cool, I think that's smarter. Revamped live activities. Um, you can see that little thing next to the, uh, the, the time, the red thing. You can tap on that, that's gonna be their little iPhone thing where the iPhone has like a notch that you can interact with. Now Samsung kind of does too, where you can interact with that top part uh, instead of having to go into the app or go into a widget or something like that. It's gonna be like a live type widget, you could probably call it. Separate notification and quick settings for a clutter-free experience. So now notifications and quick settings are separated. You can swipe down from the top right of your screen to get to your quick toggles and then from the top left to get to your notifications. So it might be a little bit better for you to do that. It's kind of the way Apple does it right now. Now I also wanted to show off this and this is just showing off what the quick toggles look like on the left is the One UI 6 type icons, uh, quick toggles, and then on the right is the One UI 7 quick toggles. And you see the pill design at the bottom there. I'm digging it. I, I, I don't really, everything's bigger too. I think it's good. I think it's good. I really, really do. Uh, I know it's copying Apple a little bit, but 
whatever. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with these companies kind of copying each other because you can't always be the original at something. You can be the improver on things. And um, I'm, th this is an exciting update, I think. The last few updates for One UI 6 outside of the AI ad additions have been kind of boring. So this is a nice little revamp. Let me know what your thoughts are on this in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.